Hello, love. Um, it appears as though you have another review coming up. This time around, I'm going to sort of complete the Hobgoblin series. Or at least to the best of my knowledge, the Hobgoblin series. I've done gold, I've done ruby. But this time around, we're going to go a little bit royalist here. We're going to go a little bit Marcus and introduce ourselves to King Goblin. That's right, it's the Imperial Ruby Beer. So yeah, it's basically, apparently this is, this is like all the others, but it's stronger. And it's rubier, but not golden. Like Cobb Goblin Gold is. This is going to be the, this is apparently the, it, it, it's like the final boss. It's not the flagship, but it's the final boss of the Hobgoblin series. So I've heard anyway. Uh, but whether or not it is or not, I don't know. So yeah. Let's have a look at what it says on the back. It says, Hobgoblin, so King Goblin Ruby Beer. It's the King of Legends. Which sounds like one of those anime films, doesn't it really? King of Legends. It's deep ruby in colour. Let's capture the phone. What the fuck's making that noise? Yeah, that vowel. Yeah. But yeah. What is it? No, that's fuck it. Um, if you can hear this through the mic, I'm sorry. I don't even know what it is. But yeah. The King of Legends, it's deep ruby in colour with aromas of treacle toffee and dried fruits. I like that. Brewed with a blend of the finest crystal and chocolate moss. The addition of sovereign hops. Ah, so that's where the king part comes from. It's got sovereign hops. You know, because sovereign means royalty as well. Uh, it's packed full of sweet caramel, coffee, and earthly roasted malt flavours for a warming seal of approval. And it's from the Witchwood Brewery, um, which is in Whitney, Oxfordshire. And if you want to have a look for Hobgoblin on social media, you can. It's got a Facebook, and a Twitter, and an Instagram. Hobgoblin beer. So yeah, I'll uh, a lot of bottle. As you can tell, there's our Hobgoblin there. He's got some kind of staff with a, a bow and arrow barrel. He's got a crown, and there he is giving us his little smile there. There's the neck of the bottle. It's just a, a red star on a grey background with like sort of tree patterns. If you look closely, you can sort of a wooden tree pattern. And there's the lid for all you bottle top enthusiasts. That's for you. Uh, Okay, and this is 6.6, .6. so it's nice and strong, so this is going to hit a lot of spots. Okay, there we go, let's, let's get it out the bottle, shall we? Where did I buy this from? Oh, I think I bought this from Morrison's. Yeah. <laughs> See that? You can't teach that, you can't teach it. I'll pick that up later. But yeah, um, so yeah, that's a... Uh, Let's get out the bottle, shall we? Just throw it in, see what it looks like. And then we'll move on with the rest of the review. And it's a fun review. So yeah, it's a... Uh, it's not a little ruby at all. It looks, just, it looks like slight... It, it's like... It looks like Coke with a big head on it. Not cocaine. I'm talking like Coke, the beer. Not the beer, neither. So the soft drink. The carbonated soft drink. It looks like that. With carbonation moderation, there's a few little bubbles there. And there's like a two fingered head that's off white. They're sort of creamy colours. So that's what it looks like, and it's somewhat clear. It's not hazy or anything. What the fuck is that noise? It's doing my foot over there. It's sort of on the couch, it's sort of loose. It's fucking creaking like fuck. Uh, I get cranky with these things. I'm gonna do it on the armchair next time. So, yeah, 
This is a, that's what it looks like. Let's have a, let's have a smell, shall we? Give it a little shake. Straight away. Smoky. I've got a smoky smell. Which I didn't expect. <sighs> yeah, so it's, it's like a mixture of like dates and a, a, a distinct, so a distant hint of treacle, but a lot of smokiness. So that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that, but I don't know, that, that bodes well, I suppose. Yeah. So I, I mean, you want to know, I only got nine hours of sleep last night. I know, I normally get a lot more than that. Yeah, but uh, we know what it looks like. We know what it smells like. But what about the taste? You know, will it be King Goblin or will it be um, Chairman Kenwright? See what I did there. Yeah, we haven't got rid of the fucker yet, have we? We haven't. It'll be there for the fuck ever. I can't see it right, but you know what? But you know what? But when the 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 prophecy of the Book of Revelation comes to fruition, right? And the four horsemen of the apocalypse are riding rounds, and the plague of locusts are all wiping us all out, taking us to our graves. You know, tribulation, rapture, whatever you want to call it. Bill fucking Kenwright will still be fucking chairman of Everton. He'll still be there, he's doing some stupid press conference, you know. There'll be a fucking plague of locusts ripping the skin off his face. And he'll be saying, well, um, I think that, um, what would Everton do in this situation? That's what all these other clubs ask. They always ask, what would Everton do in these situations? Well, it's because we're a, we're a good example. We're a good example of football, could you say. We are a really good example. That's why Farhad bought into Everton. That's why he invested heavily. That's why MSP wanted to invest heavily. Because they see how us, the likes of myself and the board, you know, you like to see your Denise Barrett backs and there's, God bless her, she's not there anymore. But she, you know, she's here in spirit, you know, because we do such a good job. We do such a fantastic job. And you know what? We almost got relegated twice. But almost, and that's an achievement. We didn't. And that's why we're gonna put more pictures of pitch invasions of us celebrating not getting relegated around Finch Farm. That's my Bill Kenwright impression. So yeah, I digress a bit. Nonetheless, bottom up, up your bottoms, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So basically, uh, the the daisy smell that I got, I can taste strongly. Uh, I'm getting the the toffee, a little bit of treacle and caramel thrown in. That that's there as well. Um, and most importantly, that smokiness I've mentioned. I can taste a bit of it. It tastes a bit smoky too, which is good. I like that. Uh, let's dive back in again, see if we get any other sip this stuff. Sometimes when you sip it and you gulp it, you get a different taste. Hmm. Now, more of the same. More of the same, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it tastes like it smells. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad actually. Oh, my mouth feels pretty good as well. It feels kind of hearty and a bit thick, you know, not not as thick as Bill Ken, right? Um, but it's it's thick nonetheless. It's got a sort of it 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 doesn't feel like it's just sort of a, it, it's just a liquid. It feels like there's something in it that sort of that's maintaining in a way. I know it sounds a bit mad me saying that, but it does, it kind of feels like it's maintaining a bit. Because, you know, I'm trying to swirl this around and, yeah, it's going well. Yeah. It 
doesn't seem like there's much carbonation, but you can kind of taste it on your tongue. You can feel it swell on that. It's a bit creamy. You know, I didn't expect this to be creamy. You know, I expected it to be sort of like fruity and caramelly, but not really creamy. And it is, it's creamy. Did I mention it was creamy? Yeah. Yeah, um, this is alright, this is not too bad. Uh, you know, I, I like this. You know. This is, this is a good, you know, this, this is a good final boss of the Hobgoblin range. Ugh. You know, I'd recommend it, really would. So yeah, uh, it's pretty good, this. <coughs> Fuck me, Jesus Christ. So yeah, um, you know, but I think that concludes tonight's video, tonight's review. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed this. It's uh, it's not been too bad at all, actually. You know, obviously I've got more to come, including get this. You're gonna think I'm fucking taking the piss when I say this, but I'm not. I went to Aldi the other day and I found Yorkshire pudding beer made by some brewery in Yorkshire. It's basically Yorkshire pudding flavored beer, allegedly. So I'm gonna review that, uh, see what that's like. Will it be good? Will it be shit? Who knows? There's only one way to find out, isn't it? So yeah. But tonight we've had our King Goblin review, and it's been good. I've enjoyed it. You know, bit uh, bit smoky, bit daisy, bit caramelly, a bit honeyish. Yeah, it's been good. Um, so yeah, that concludes tonight's video. Signing out everyone. Take care.